overcome the obstacles. Take your time to enter this session and when you are ready to start, breathe deeply through your nose. Then allow this pleasant air to descend down to your abdomen, which inflates like a balloon. During this first session, you need to concentrate to allow this air to descend further down into your abdomen and even lower with each inspiration. And when you exhale, just let it out. Flowing with a continuous stream with your mouth half open. Note then that with each exhale, your body relaxes, releasing the tensions and letting them go with the air that you exhale through your mouth. Now you can close your eyes and the only thing you have to do is listen to the sound of my voice. This voice could be your voice, the voice for your relaxation. Just think about letting yourself go. And during this session, let's experience a form of freedom. Just the freedom to feel the pleasure of releasing you completely. Freedom from all thoughts, so you can only feel the present moment. To do this, you just have to let yourself slide towards a state of even deeper relaxation, as if you were traveling on a gentle slope at your pace and with every new breath you let the relaxation of your body bring you more comfort Breathe the essence of freedom, feeling safe, and to also let go of this freedom, returning to a state of alertness, if the situation so requires. Now you can begin to breathe more slowly, deeply, and regularly. Your relaxation improves and your soul is in full possession of its faculties. Be very attentive to my words. You experience this positive and beneficial feeling that you are feeling now in this state of deep relaxation. You fully understand how this opens up new doors to faster learning and the discovery of more effective solutions. This state allows access to your internal resources. You feel well. It is as though you were resting in a place so comfortable, so secure, that you could almost fall asleep. A place known only to you where you can relax and feel in harmony and all your internal rhythm becomes calm, becomes consistent. You become aware of the generosity of your infinite internal resources. So now I suggest you to develop a shortcut to this state of sublime well-being to associate this state with an image, a word, a sound, a gesture, or a posture. Take your time to choose the shortcut that suits you best. That is very good. Now think about this image, this sound, this gesture. I don't know it but you do. Find this place so secure, so comfortable, 
and every time you think of this image, this sound, this gesture, the same sensation of fulfillment and well-being develops in you more and more strongly every time you do this relaxation session and my voice continues to probe this voice which could well be your inner voice the voice of your deep spirit your deep nature the voice of your unconscious and while you continue to relax and enter in a gentle idleness. I ask that your conscious mind resist its desire to slip away. And now that you see that your thoughts are clearer, you can remember something important, essential, something that you have succeeded that you have obtained by yourself. When you might have been younger, younger than you are today. And it brought you so much satisfaction, a feeling, an emotion that you can now take the time to let it come back to the surface. When you simply think about what you have achieved and when you look at what there is to see in this memory, when you hear the sounds, the words that were said and that you remember that smile of satisfaction forming in your abdomen, then appears on your lips. It's so nice. Perhaps you have simply forgotten these tasty sensations, just as you had easily forgotten to record the feeling of release or relaxation in your body before I remind you of this sensation and that you perceive this muscular relaxation that grows, which spreads and which offers you even more comfort to the whole body. And now you notice how easier it is to let your mind drift, to reach this deep relaxation and you can remember the path towards this state of comfort, of appeasement, to be better, to be well and to have nothing to do. Nothing special, nothing in particular. Just remember how nice it is to do nothing. By staying comfortably seated in the best position, the one you have right now, and to find that your breath rhythm is so comforting, regular and peaceful. While on other occasions, in certain times of the past, when you were concerned, completely worried about your thoughts, in those moments when too many thoughts invaded you, it seemed difficult to relax perfectly. While in this moment, do not think of anything in particular 
as if you were in the center of nowhere. Comfortably disassociated from your environment, the mind in the center and the body elsewhere in two distant spaces here and down perfect you might also be drooling or swallowing this is a normal sensation and will reoccur during this session because saliva accompanies the depth of your relaxation state. Here it is, this important moment in your session. I will ask you through your closed eyelids to fix with great attention an imaginary point which lies between your two eyes, just in the middle of your two eyebrows. Direct your eyeballs on this and the more you fix this point relentlessly, the more intensely you fix it, the more you notice that your perception of the outside world closes instantly. Even your closed eyelids seem more opaque, as if you had closed the curtains or the blinds. Your eyelids are more hermetically closed, like glued together. And as you enter this optimal resource state, I ask you to see how your mind wants to move in the right direction. The one you have chosen for a bigger future, as if it feels open to find better solutions, as it can now focus on how to do, how to offer you what is most favorable Take the measure of this inner power, finally free from any interference and imagine the infinite resources now available to you. All these resources you have so you can better focus on your goal. Your goal to stay focused on your goals when a difficulty, adversity or unexpected unknown arises on your path. Then and now, for your greatest immediate and future benefit. Because you know, your brain controls all your organs, your intentions and you can direct it to get what you are looking for and even direct your centers of interest, your motivation and your habits so that overcoming obstacles becomes so much easier. Easier than thinking that things are difficult than dramatizing or overvaluing difficulties. Now I would like you to become aware as of this moment you know a lot more things than at any other time of your life because you have more experience than yesterday and much more than before. For all that you have learned till now has already taught you 
that you can acquire new knowledge, interesting new solutions with much ease. Then what your past learning has taught you. How can a new idea seem insecure or uncertain? At first and then offer a concrete, measurable result. How what seems confusing or murky at a moment can become clear and easy to understand just after. How what seems blurred at the beginning can become harmonious and well ordered after. And it is possible that lately, or for a little longer, when you are thinking about doing something, to move faster towards the goals you have set. With a motivation always reinforced, finally freed from this feeling that obstacles prevent you to move forward at your pace. A liberated spirit focused on a new dynamic of life. This may have provoked a form of uncertainty confusion. It is possible that you did not know exactly how to start and how to continue to get exactly the results you want. By thinking about this now, it might be giving you pleasure and appreciate that uncertainty or confusion you felt then because part of you knows that confusion is the word to describe the order of things that are not yet ordered. And this part knows with precision how to remember about the confusion that you felt every time when faced with a new situation and how just by asking your inner self how to order this you immediately felt a form of impatience a desire to order thoughts ideas actions to easily gain a result. As if that part of you was waiting impatiently for this moment because it's looking forward to results. More simply because it remembers the happiness you felt each time from this joy, from these inner feelings which accompanies each of your successes. While another part of you has found that some people in front of uncertainty surrender to confusion and yet you know that these people could easily succeed as you and even do as well as the people who succeeded best. It is possible that this makes you think that what these people are simply lacking is the pleasure of feeling some form of uncertainty or confusion, the one that leads to impatience, the desire to order things. Or maybe they just forgot 
to ask questions. How to order these things. What to do to feel this wonderful feeling of success. And you can now patiently understand that all human beings feel insecure, uncertain or confused in the face of novelty. They must feel that because that is what makes them to extend their knowledge, to develop their know-how, to increase their performance, to succeed even more easily every time. So while your conscious mind is wondering how to do this, how to perceive obstacles in another way, using other words, maybe by giving them less value. Less power of nuisance to treat them simply as you have already dealt with many other unforeseen obstacles. How to optimize these settings to focus your unconscious and conscious mind on the best solutions, the opportunities contained in each situation and use your most effective resource. I would like you to just take a moment to allow your mind to wander in the past, to return to the uncertainty you felt before knowing how to read, then to write, and what impatience this uncertainty has caused to you. A desire to draw features, curves, that others could understand. The desire to at last give rise to letters, words, phrases. And yet you did not know very well yet how to use this later. How to write would become so important for the rest of your life and yet you have succeeded. And you might even remember the uncertainty, the confusion you felt the first day you had to drive alone, a bicycle or even a car. What uncertainty, what confusion before all these actions to think, to do, while you have to think and do other things, all these thoughts, actions that occupied your mind, your body, as they seemed complex, to order, to coordinate. But your impatience, your desire to know, became stronger and you still have succeeded. So today you understand that being just uncertain enough can accomplish your goal faster. That feeling an uncertainty, a confusion at the beginning is important to become very proficient after. And while you think about it, you associate this idea with your goal to skillfully overcome the unexpected that you encounter 
on the way to your goal. You appreciate these opportunities to activate your internal resources, to test your new flexibility of operation, which you enjoy. So now I will ask you to project yourself in the near future, a future in which you have reached your goal. That's it, you've arrived. You can change your point of view easily when an unexpected event occurs to discover the best solutions, innovative, ingenious solutions to overcome all obstacles. Bravo. You observe that person you have become, who enthuses you, and you note all the details, gestures, postures, general appearance, and expression of confidence. You hear what others say, these beautiful sounds that go straight to your heart. You feel the lightness, the dynamic that now dwells in you. The feeling of being in full possession of your means, equipped with such great capacity of adaptation. Compliments, congratulations. You can be a happy person. You can be proud of you. Proud to go straight ahead. Take the time to enjoy it. And maybe you can take the time to look behind. When today will have become a day of the past. To rethink how you used uncertainty, confusion, to get the result that filled you with such great joy. And whenever you like, when you think that you have done all that you had to do, put in your best effort, found the best ideas you have and how to implement them when you will feel the deep feelings that something good and important has come true. You will be able to begin the process and complete it here and now. But in the meantime, take the time to enjoy all these good feelings, this good moment. You will only have to mentally count down from five to one and at one you will be back in the present, in shape full of positive energies because you know that the processes you have put in place will continue today, tomorrow and in the following days. <laughs>